What is AFib catheter ablation? Catheter ablation is a minimally invasive procedure to treat atrial fibrillation, or AFib, when antiarrhythmic drugs or cardioversion do not adequately relieve symptoms. It may be the first treatment for some AFib patients. The ablation procedure is done in a clinical setting by a team of trained providers, led by a heart rhythm specialist called an electrophysiologist, or EP. The ablation typically takes about two to three hours to complete. Before the procedure, you'll be given intravenous medication to help you relax and perhaps even fall asleep. Your doctor will then freeze an area by the groin and make small holes through which flexible tubes called catheters are carefully guided into the heart. Your doctor will use a software mapping system to help position the catheters and study the electrical signals in the heart. Once your doctor sees abnormal signals that cause AFib, energy is applied to this very small area of tissue in order to block the signals. This energy may be thermal, or temperature-based, or non-thermal. Radiofrequency ablation uses heat, and cryoablation uses cold energy. Pulsed field ablation does not use temperature, but instead uses short, high-energy electrical pulses. After the procedure is completed, the catheters are removed, and pressure is applied to the groin to help close the small holes in the blood vessel. You will be asked to lie flat for several hours in a recovery room to allow for further healing. Your doctor may recommend that you start or continue medications, including a blood thinner. Many patients can go home the same day, but some may spend the night in the hospital to recover. Most people can resume normal life within a few days. A heart rhythm monitor, like a patch or implantable cardiac monitor, may be ordered months after the ablation to see if any AFib remains. Most people experience fewer symptoms and an improvement in their quality of life following their ablation procedure. Sometimes, however, AFib can persist or return. Your EP may recommend the procedure be repeated, or you may discuss alternative treatments. To find out more or to locate a specialist in your area, visit Upbeat.org.